Learn Google Calendar in less than 5 minutes. So open your favorite browser and in the Google search type Google space calendar. Once you have typed it, hit enter and the very first result will come calendar.google.com and we will click on that and it will ask you to sign in and you need to sign in. Now the moment you sign in, you will find the window like this where you have the current month and at the left hand side you will have the calendar and some options and at the top right corner we have some icons. So I will tell you how we can create a event reminder. So uh, let's say if I want to create an event or a task on 18th of um, March, Monday, and I have decided the time 11 a.m. So I will click on here in the 11 a.m. part. You can see it's 10.30 to 11.30, and if you wish, you can change it to 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. So here I have selected 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. However, we can change the time and the very important part is to select the time zone as well. So from here, you can change the time zone and then uh, because time is very important here, the time zone is very important. So once we go to the event, we need to enter the title. So let's say if it's a meeting, so I'll mention the meeting or whatever you want to add here like sales meeting or anything. And here we have selected the time zone and here we can add the guest. So you can add the guest by going to the uh, contacts or you can simply type the email address here. Alright, so you can type the email address and if you want to add uh, the Google Meet you can also click on that and this will be also, uh, you know, you can give uh, Google icon, I mean the Google Meet, meet.google up to 100 guest connection. So you can simply copy from here and you can send it to the people you want. And here you can add the location, you can add the description attachment and if I click on more options, I get a big window and all the things remain same and I can save it. So the moment I click on save, the notification uh, will be sent, the email will be sent. If you want the notification, you can do that. If you want to send an email, you can select email. All right, so they will get the email and this is how you can create a meeting. So I'll just discard it and let's say if I want to create a task, then I just have to click on the task and here I can change the time and the time zone as well. And here I can mention the description and I'll just mention the task, whatever the task is. And it will give me the notification when this, you know, time will come. So this is how you can use it. And from here, you can change. Um, if you want month wise, you can do that. If you want year wise, you can also, you know, look like this and you can plan for the next month or the next year as well, like this. So if I go to year, you will find here 2024 and you can go to the next year as well. All right. So this is how you can use the Google Calendar and if you have any um, queries or any question, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to resolve your query. So please hit the like and subscribe and if you have found this Google Calendar tutorial helpful, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.